Hi guys, welcome back to Station Tutorials. Uh, I got more of a quick tip for you today. Here we are on Adobe Premiere and I have this slow motion uh, sunset footage here and I'd like to stabilize it. So I'm gonna hit stabilize. Oh wait, there isn't a stabilizer in Premiere. So I'm gonna hit smooth cam. Nope, there's not a smooth cam either. Well, what we can do is we can right click, hit replace with After Effects composition. It will pop up here in After Effects. Then we can go to our effects and presets and type in stabilize and throw on our warp stabilizer and that will analyze our clip and you can see it go to work here in the corner as we pop back into Premiere I want to add a vignette to this but you'll see that there isn't a vignette either unless of course you have magic bullets misfire vignette but that's not exactly what we're looking for because that kinda does something else but now you'll say well what can we do you know there's not a vignette built into Premiere God knows why. Um, this is the fifth version of this editing software. You think they would have figured this out by now. But um, you can add a new title. Yeah, title, I know. You're going to say, why title? Well, let's just add a new title. We'll call this Vin for Vignette. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to grab our rectangle tool and we're going to just draw a rectangle. And then over in our fill type, we'll change it to Radial Gradient. And then let's select the color here and we're going to make this black. And now you can see we have a radial gradient here and we can adjust this accordingly like so. You can kind of fine tune it and once you get what you're looking for, we can just close this out. And then there's our vignette right there. Let's grab that and throw that on top of our footage. And you'll say, well, what the hell is this? Uh, now select this, go to effect controls, motion tab, opacity, and hit multiply. And now, if you check this uniform scaling, you can scale these individually, your height and width, and you can kind of fine tune this vignette for what you're looking for. Um, I realize this is a bunch of extra steps, I know. Um, like I said, who knows why there isn't a built-in vignette. Um, you can also change the opacity here, so you don't want it too intense, you can bring this down a little bit. And then, so we got ourselves a vignette here. And another thing you want to make sure is make sure this white is completely white so it isn't affecting the center of your clip. If it's not white, it won't be 100% transparent and it will kind of uh, act as a ND filter, if you will, over your footage, which you most likely don't want. All right, well, when we're all said and done here, now we got our nice uh, smoothed out clip with our vignette over the top. And uh, thank you for joining me for this quick tip, guys, and I'll see you guys soon.